All right, Campbell's comments here in sunny Tamworth. It's a beautiful day. Hello, Mick Wilson. Hi, Paul. How are you going? I had to start it a different way. It's about the 10th time I've started. I'm a professional, aren't I? You are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. We've got the Nutrient Equine Standard Bread Camp Draft on in about, I suppose, two hours. People can go to the Nutrient Equine site, go to the performance page, go to the live webcast and be able to watch you guys, um, plus five other riders um, com competing. It's something new. It's something, you know, uh, it's going to be fun. What, what, what are your expectations, Mick? Um, you're on the, I suppose, the uh, the sponsored horse. Uh, your horse is not up for sale, but what are your expectations oh, to look, expect? The, the interest it's had since it started has been phenomenal. So, yeah, I, I, I think there'll be a lot of cheering and cooing going on there tonight. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it'll be a big deal. Absolutely. Brett, you've been a part of quite a few things, um, you know, like big movies and, and, and the likes going forward. This is nowhere near to that standard or that, but this it's a unique challenge for you guys, isn't it? I think it's just the camaraderie with the with the guys doing it. Um, we all doing it for the right reason, and you know we're there to back Nutrient up. Like they're out there now trying to get into the standard bread market, and we're just there to help back them up to go. You know what? They're there for the right reasons. They're trying to sell these horses, and they're the ones that are going out of their way to go. Well, we're there to rehome them. They're using their platform here at Tamworth this week to promote that. And they're passionate about it, so it's a win for everyone. Both of you guys, you Mick, have got a harness racing background because well, you married Don Smith's daughter, actually, so you've got a really good tie in it, um, and you've done a lot with the thoroughbreds. To rehome off-the-track horses, um, it can only help, help our sport and get it bigger and bigger as well, can't it? Yeah, sure, and, and, and especially horses like Monty of mine. You know, horses had a great career. It's just great that they're just not stuck in a paddock somewhere, that they're out there doing something, you know, like... Go down, and check their cattle and stuff like that. I think it's the best thing ever. I was talking to Joe Anderson earlier, the owner of Monofife, who's not for sale. Her greatest concerns are she's worried she won't be able to sit on him because he's he's got some moves now. Hey, yeah, he has. He has. No, she'll handle him. She'll handle him. He's a good horse. He'll only go go where you point him. Yeah, no, she'll she'll have a ball on him. And, and it's something different, Brady. A lot of people with the um, off the track of horses, they, I think they look for you know a bit of dressage, a bit of trail riding, and things like that. This is a very, very competitive sport. Anyone that's been here, like over these, I've been here since Monday, and it's just amazing how serious you guys take your camp drafting and, and the like. So it's not a novelty event what you guys are a part of, but it's actually a key component for, for the racing industry, isn't it? Oh, it is. And when you see them, you know, these horses allowing themselves to be, you know, retrained and stuff like that. Michael Wilson's horse, he's got more moves than a rattlesnake. <laughs> I can, like, you wait till you go out there tonight, it will be electric. And, um, we all know how silly Michael is. He's going to push it to the limit. Did you see him last night in the utility? There was a bridge. He couldn't get him over that when everyone was showing him all, all the, you know, the rate and everything. As soon as it's into the competition, bang, straight over it. There's no showman in him, is it all, is it? He, uh, if there's something that can be done, he will get it, get it done, get it achieved. That's what is the scary part tonight with the camp draft. He's got it in the bag. <laughs> you think he's got it in the bag? He's... He's playing ducks and drakes, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, look, look, Paul, no one's ever got it in the bag at a camp draft. Like, you've seen how good Emma O'Shea was last night, you know? Like, like I, I was glad the policeman had a run so my horse looked good. But, um, but at, <laughs> at the end of the day, end of the day, every competitor there can win a camp draft anywhere in the country. Like, it's, it'll come down to a good cow and every competitor's quite capable. Don't worry about that. Now, they're all for sale. Um, they all go online from um, uh, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, um, through to Saturday afternoon, about about 3 o'clock. So it is, there is a real serious part about it. Um, all money goes to charity. Um, but I will say from you know, my point of view, from a harness person, and I, I can speak for the vast you know, a lot of people that are in it, thank you very much to you guys and everyone else that's been a part of it. And I must say, the fun behind the scenes, with especially used to, um, and a few of the other guys, the way they you, you've taken it on, it's been terrific. No, look, it's been good, Paul. I've really enjoyed it, and I'm I'm, I'm glad that Brett's psychiatrist come with us to keep him in check. So, so no. Other than that, we would have been in trouble, but we're going good now. Yeah. Keep him all levelled up oh, and straightened yeah. out. Yeah, no, you, you, he's as straight as the spirit level, this fella. <laughs> he, he is indeed. I don't know if you're aware. Did you watch Mickey doing the gate last night on Monofif trying to put it back up? I, I was a bit surprised that he had so much troubles with it. But were you aware of what he was actually up to? He's an imbecile. I knew exactly what he was doing. When I got there, there was 5,000 loops in the rope that I had to undo to go through it. But on a serious note, I think um, we really need to, you know, give all the kudos to Mark Barton. Yep. 
Um, he has taken this so serious. Um, all he wants to do is the right thing. Ringers Western has come on board as a major sponsor and yeah, just a whole nutrient team that's um, really embraced it and you know, they are one company that they don't do things by halves. This sale here it started with 120 horses at the very first sale over at the Tem old Tamworth Showgrounds. And, you know, what they, $1.8 million yesterday alone. Like, if they say they're going to do something, you won't, you just won't um, be able to hold a candle to what they're going to do in the standard bread. And you must also say well done to New South Wales rehoming harness, I think is actually how it goes. But um, Amy Cubitt and uh, Peter, they've done a great job as well because they've embraced it. They, you know, Bardo and them all came to them and they, they've just took the bull by the horns as well. Uh, absolutely. And and to see the big fella up there get a chuckle every night when we do something silly, um, Michael does it like every five minutes. So we get to see him really belly laugh. And that's just something that, you know, for those guys to go, no, we love it. And that's in our own backyard. That's that means you're doing all right. What does it mean? I ask both you. You get you both the uh, same question. For the for you know the true blue camp drafters, what's what's been the feedback from you guys with the standard breeds? Well, just mainly that you know we've confirmed how stupid we are and how silly we are. So they're just happy that we are not only confirmed it to them, but we put it on live TV <laughs> and everything else. So, but that they're all passionate that we've all. We're one in, all in. All disciplines are in, you know, our welfare side of things and whatever else. They're happy because we're helping the horse industry, the camp. Like the camp drafters are going to face the same thing as the gallopers, you know, with the rehoming and, and everything else. We're all, we're, no one's exempt from um, that side of things. So they can just see the good that it's doing for everyone, whether we're competing in the camp draft or a harness or the gallops. We're, we're all in it together and, and they can just see that we're doing something for all of us. Your thoughts? Yeah, look, I, I couldn't, couldn't have said it better. And, um, you know, he talks well and we listen well, but um, but but they're just facts. It's just fantastic. And, and you know, it doesn't matter what what industry you're in, if everyone sticks together, it's always better. So it's yeah. been good. We half take the, we half take the mickey out of Brett, but I, I absolutely um, agree because I think it's something that that's what I, you know, I want... One of my Campbell's comments, mantras, is basically to keep kids in the sport. And, and we want kids in the sport. To keep kids in the sport, we've got to keep the horses in the sport, otherwise there'll be no sport. And people can sit there and say, oh, yeah, but I'm a drafter, I don't care. I, I'm a horse person through and through, and I know you guys are too, and a vast majority, I think just about everyone here is in the same boat. Yeah, 100%, and that's why, you know, we, we, you know the camp draft world's are the fastest-growing horse sport in the world. But we've all got live animals and we've all got to protect our right to go and, you know, still do everything we want to do. We chase a lot of cattle. And I think our welfare side of things is something that we've really stepped up in the last, you know, decade to to put it out there. That we, we've got no, there's no loopholes. Like we've got everything when we take it all head on and, and we all want to be a part of making it, you know, a whole, you know, like there's no holes in it. We can't, you know, we're a united force the whole way through. Yeah, no, well done, well said. I didn't expect this conversation to be so serious. So, you, no, you know, no, we're yeah. talking about having a lay down before. I definitely need a lay down after this because I'm, I'm not sure who he is. I think, I think, I think the, the, the sun's out a bit. He might be melting his head. You're not sure. You know, he might be, well, he might need a lay down, just level out a bit. I'm not sure. We'll pay that lady with the thick glasses, a psychiatrist, a bit extra. I think she's done a magnificent job with him. <laughs> what about, how's Lucky going to go, mate? Well, if I can get Bruce O'Dell that's riding past, just to put a, a few little, um, you know, do you call him stickers as well or not? He's not bad on the badging, is he? No, I'm not. No, I can't go there. But um, White Young, he's not. You're not referring to White when you talk about that. He didn't turn around when I done the interview. I, I didn't realise the back of him until after the interview. I would have brought it up. I know that they're everywhere. Well, he's not stickers. He's called the billboard. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, he's 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 as good as he, he can be, and I'm confident as anyone else going in there that. He'll he'll do the right thing. Um, yeah, if we can just, you know, show them what, show everyone what they can do, not what they can't. I, I think well done. He won't be laying down tonight. He'll be fair to him and serious because yeah, it is a, a, yeah, good point too. <laughs> you got to lay down with him. White shirt will be no good. Looks a bit um, might but be. Don't worry, he's, he's coming from the back of the pack. He knows what we've all done. So don't don't write him off. Last man up. No, he's number, he's, he's number six. 
Who's last up? Scotty Bandy. <laughs> How about, how about we give you a little bit of a uh, a lead into your next Campbell's comments? Yeah. Last out, first home. <laughs> chance. <laughs> Very good chance. You two are both trying to say I'm going to be interviewing him later on. Is that what you're going to say? In every discipline, that man's one of the toughest competitors that I've ever seen. On. I won't write any of them off, especially him at the back. <laughs> he even puts kids through the grass to practice things and doesn't worry yeah, one man. bit about him. Poor old Ed, he's still wiping that red stuff, oh, oh, green stuff off him. A couple of pocket knife blades, they got the Falera <laughs> seeds off him. He was fine to get up there in the sand and, and do 9-0 going around that ring. It was fantastic. <laughs> Boys, thank you very much. Good luck later on. Really have appreciated it. It was a bit more serious than I was expecting, but uh, thank you very much. And as I said, I... Oh, Honestly, from our hardest point of view, well done for what you guys are doing, but rehoming the industry, well done. Just one more thing, Paul. Um, the cleaners want their toilet brushed back. <laughs> That's the best you could come up with, is it? <laughs> He's struggling. He needs to sleep. He said he'd be five minutes. We had to wait half an hour. Goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs>